summer with you, as we've all experienced. Uh, welcome to the 2014 Upper Iowa University Matriculation Convocation. My name is Jeff Biedekofer. I'm an associate professor of chemistry here. I, this is my 10th year of teaching at Upper Iowa, and I am currently faculty chair, which is why I am before you today. Uh, students, what that means for you is that feel free to use me as a resource. If you think I can help you out with anything, you have got to let me know. I would welcome the opportunity to get to know each and every one of you. So if you want to just stop by and talk to me in my office, that would be great too. I'm in the science building, Baker Hebron. Uh, I love to talk about things like the nature of the universe. If you are in my astronomy class, and according to my class list, a not insignificant fraction of you are, we're going to have those conversations anyway, so might as well stop by and get started. Um, I would love to talk to you if you are interested in being a member of the university pet band. I'm going to take my mic time to hear your little shameless plug for that. Um, I would love to tell you why the periodic table of the elements is so cool that I carry a wallet-sized version around with me at all times. Right here. Um, of course, one of the things that makes it so cool is that it's very useful. You never know when you're going to need it. This is a true story. Uh, I took my wife on a cruise this summer. Uh, we took the car ferry across Lake Michigan. And to pass the time, we got involved in a game of trivia in the uh, boat lounge. And the opposing team unwisely chose the category of science, nature, and technology as the tie-breaking category. So the question was, which element has the chem chemical symbol N-O, capital N-O? Incoming students, anybody know me? Nobody? I knew the answer right away was, of course, Nobelium. But because I don't feel compelled to memorize the periodic table because I carry one around with me at all times, I decided to double check and started digging through my wallet to find my periodic table. And I look over at the table next to me and there's a guy over there digging through his wallet. <laughs> and I said, are you looking for your wallet periodic table? He said, yes I am. I said, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, it turns out though that his wallet periodic table did not have the names of the elements in them. So it didn't do a lot of good. Mine did, we got the points. Our team won, he was pretty jealous. <laughs> We've got a few more things to talk to you about, but I'm going to save that till the closing. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce the 21st president of Upper Iowa University, Dr. William R. Duffy II. Thank you, Dr. Rudkoffer. And I will tell you, I am a frequent gazer. Uh, with Dr. Woodcoffer. Whenever you hear about the stargazing, I encourage you to go out. Uh, they'll get out there about 10 o'clock at night, and you can see Saturn, you can see amazing things with the equipment that he has. So, um, uh, great job, Jeff, and I do encourage you all to uh, participate in the stargazing. Well, thank you, Jeff, and on behalf of our Board of Trustees, 
we welcome all of the parents, family members, all of our faculty, all the staff worldwide to Upper Arm University. Thank you for joining us on our fourth annual convocation. And of course, a big welcome to the newest members of our Peacock family. You now join a family of over 32,000 alumni, approximately 7,000 students, and over 1,000 faculty and staff in locations around the world. As most of you know, the history of Upper Iowa began back in 1854 when Elizabeth Alexander, a pioneer woman living near what is now Fayette, proposed the idea of a college to her husband so that their daughters could attend college nearby. The first classes were held in 1857, and Upper Iowa University has been meeting educational needs, changing lives, and improving society for over 157 years. You are all now part of that history. Whether you are here at Fayette, at one of our 25 education centers in the United States, Hong Kong, Malaysia, or attaining your educational goals online or through our self-paced degree program. You incoming students are now embarking on an amazing journey where you decide which path to take. You begin today with an empty canvas. You determine how it will be colored throughout your journey as a peacock. For those of you here at Fayette, your story begins this weekend. Get involved, get to meet new people, and accept the new challenges. Here at UIU, we believe in changing lives one student at a time. You're not just a number, you are a member of our, member of our global family. So exactly, who is our global Peacock family? First, your faculty. We have outstanding faculty, and they are an amazing group of professionals, men, professional men and women who have committed their lives to teaching scholarship and service. They go the extra mile in caring for our students. In fact, just two days ago, I was in Alexander Dickman outside of my office. I noticed a faculty, me faculty member, Dr. Jacobs, don't mind that I mentioned your name, but I noticed him outside with about six or seven students, new income students. So I went outside, and I asked him what was going on. And he said, well, we've decided, some of my colleagues and I, have decided to take some of our students here and bring them over to the house for dinner, to have a cook out there. He said, that's wonderful, it's fantastic. Well, that's a bit of an understatement. They actually had, uh, the faculty were over there, with Dr. Caden Carvel's place, and I know that Nigel was there and some other faculty, but there were 65 students and I were there, and they were all engaged and having dinner, and uh, one of them had even said, now I feel like I'm at home. So, I can assure you, caring like that does not happen everywhere. Our faculty truly do care about us, and I know that. So students, get to know your faculty, work with them, and allow them to inspire your desire to inquire. These are the individuals, along with your classmates, who will shape your memories of UIU many years from now. Second, your staff. Whether it's your coach, your academic advisor, a vice president, or any staff throughout our university, this is a team of professionals who want to see you succeed. If you have challenges or need assistance, they are here to help you through this wonderful journey. Once again, many years from now, you will likely recall how one of these individuals took the time to assist you through a difficult situation. Next, your 32,000 alumni. They have traveled a similar journey. They have created our history, and they are also funding many of your journeys right now. And they love New Peacock. Get to know when they visit. Get to know them because they can help you not only now while you're here, but they can also help you in the future. Lastly, your board of trustees. We have 19 board of trustee members. They are very accomplished leaders. Many are UIU alumni. These individuals volunteer their time to ensure the best interest in the future of our university. Twice a year, our board members will be here at Upper Iowa University. They'll be on campus, and they always like to receive input, not only from our students, but from our staff and from our faculty. 
There's a mantra here at UIU. University first, people always. We will always place our university first, and by that, we will ensure we provide you all, our students, a quality education, outstanding services, and do what we can to ensure the future success of you all. Really realize that the reason we are here is because of each one of you students. You have chosen to become a Peacock, and we will do our best to help you achieve both your educational and your career goals. Thank you all for choosing Upper Iowa University, and of course, every now and then a little bit of the military comes out of me. Let's all keep on doing great things for Upper Iowa University and great things for the world. Hua? Thank you all very much. I'll be filed, followed by Dr. Kirkwood, our provost. Thank you, President Debbie. I do extend my sincere Peacock Nation welcome to all our incoming students, their parents and family members, and to the Upper Iowa University faculty and staff in attendance at this afternoon's convocation. Again, I'm Kurt Wood, UIU class of 76, and the Provost and Chief Academic Officer for Upper Iowa University. You've chosen Upper Iowa to pursue your college degree. We are thankful for and humbled by your choice as you now join the ranks of some 32,000 UIU graduates, all of whom started their higher education journey with that first step, just as you do today. Since 1857, Upper Iowa University has been changing lives one student at a time. As you embark on your college education experience, please understand that our success as a university is directly dependent upon your success as a UIU student. Doing so involves an agreement, a mutually understood arrangement between the university and its students. In accordance with the principles of our founder, Mrs. Elizabeth Alexander, UIU provides accessible, affordable, and valuable higher education programs. Degrees that provide broader opportunity for productive careers and for success in life. That said, understand that our students are responsible for the other half of that path. Each student is accountable for taking advantage and making the most of those learning opportunities, the faculty guidance, and the support systems made available by the university. For nearly 160 years, Upper Iowa students have received a liberal arts education, an approach to college learning, that prepares them to deal with complexity, diversity, and change by emphasizing a broad knowledge of the wider world, as well as achieving competency in a major field of study. A liberal arts education is structured such to help you develop a balanced sense of social responsibility and to acquire communication, analytical, and problem-solving skills while having the opportunity to apply what you learn in real-world settings. As I close, please keep in mind these five common sense suggestions for success in your college endeavors here at Upper Ivy University. Number one, take control and be responsible. Hold up your end of the educational covenant. Number two, go to class. That's where information is imparted to you. Number three, be prepared to retrain your attention span to process longer units of content. Number four, schedule dedicated study times just as you have scheduled your class times. And number five, connect with your professors. UAU faculty members are dedicated professionals committed to providing you with every opportunity for success. Once again, I welcome you to the Peacock Nation. Good luck to all of you.
in my 29 years. I do welcome you all, but I mainly want to speak to this. As Dr. Duffy has said, you are about to begin an amazing journey, a journey that will change your life. And I believe that there are four keys to making that experience the most impactful. They are learn, lead, serve, and respect. Learn. Go to class. When you get there, you need to act as if you're having a personal one-on-one -on -one conversation with your instructors and pick their brains. They have great knowledge. You need to be with them not only inside the classroom, but outside of the classroom. Again, learning from them. The same thing applies to your faculty academic advisor. They're there. They have the wisdom. They know how to help you. So learn from them. Learn, lead. Get involved outside of the classroom. Join a club or organization. I don't care where you are in the Peacock Nation, be it on Fayette or in a center or overseas. You can club, join clubs and organizations. You can obtain leadership positions that will be exactly what employers are looking for. They want people who know how to lead. So learn, lead, serve. Our most historic leaders started as servant leaders. They're the ones that get in the trenches with their fellow comrades or colleagues. Again, here you can develop the leadership skills you need by serving others. The other thing, the other benefit from service is the joy that you get from helping someone else. So learn, lead, serve, and finally respect. Again, at all our centers, locations, there are diverse populations. Learn from them. Learn about their cultures. And that's a part of being respectful. And then treat them as you want to be treated. So learn, lead, serve, and respect. This, you are now Peacocks. This is your university. You need to make it your university. You are part of making what it will become. My office is here to help you Please use us. Thank you. By the way, go Peacocks. I have now the pleasure of introducing Cody Booker, who is the new student government president. Get involved and let your opinion be heard. You know, if you see something you like, tell something. 
but in CSUN, you don't like to do something to get a change. Dora Roberts once said, if you don't go after what you want, you'll never have it. If you don't ask, the answer is always no. And if you don't step forward, you're always in the same place. There's a lot of truth to that quote. Success is inevitable if you take advantage of everything that UIU has to offer, but that is up to you. Things may get tough at times, but it will all pay off in the end. It's just like anything else in life, no matter you know, what it is, what you put into it, what you're going to get out of your experience here. So as the newest members of Peacock Nation, you have the opportunity to make the greatest difference. Make it happen. Work hard, get good grades, and get involved. Put yourself out there. Get out of your comfort zone and make a difference. We luck to everyone this year and hang on tight because these years in Upper Iowa are going to be some of the best of your life. Go Peacocks. keeps me coming back teaching year after year is that teaching at Upper Iowa is a wonderful opportunity for lifelong learning and that is a passion of mine and I learned something a few weeks ago that I wanted to share with you today uh, I was attending a conference on education and one of the things that struck me at that conference was they told me that informational knowledge has a half-life of three months so let's see if we know what half-life means. First of all, an informational knowledge. To informational knowledge is something that I just bestow upon you. So at the beginning of the ceremony here, I told you who I was, what I did, what my purpose here was. That was informational knowledge. So after three months, how much of that are you going to retain? Half-life? Half, I think. The provost knows what's going on, that's good. So, if you don't take a class from me and we don't interact and we run across each other three months from now, there's a 50% chance you won't know who I am or what I do here, but you'll probably say that guy's got some cool glasses. <laughs> of course, three months after that, it's another half, so there's a 75% chance. Okay. So, what I want to do with my remaining time here is I don't want to just bestow more informational knowledge upon you. I decided I want to do a chemical demonstration for you. I am going to perform what's called the briggs rauscher reaction. And it's really a win-win-win. Because if it works, I think you'll find it kind of cool. And you'll probably remember it maybe longer than three months. If it doesn't work and I make a fool of myself, you'll probably remind me about this at your graduation. <laughs> If I set fire to myself, Dr. Duffy, or this building, you'll be telling your children about that. <laughs> so, it's always good practice to have safety equipment on hand, so I'm going to put some safety glasses on. And some of you may have noticed that there's actually a fire extinguisher over on the side of the stage here that is not meant to be part of the demonstration but is here just in case. And so we're lowering the screen here because this is a visual demonstration and hopefully that'll give you a better background against which to see it. And I'm going to step away from the mic, I'm going to go over the table here and I want you to focus on the big two liter flask there that I'm going to pour some solutions into. And what I want you to do is I'm going to pour two solutions into it, I'm going to step back and I want you to tell me if you see anything.
All right. Anybody notice anything? Nobody noticed anything? Yes, that's because I turned on the stirrer. All right, there's a color change. All right, if you notice the color change, come see me about majoring in chemistry. I am going to add the third solution and keep your eye on the areas. And so if you have a yellow card, you have been placed in the School of Liberal Arts, and you are going to uh, follow John Siblick, Dean of the School of Liberal Arts. Don, John, John, sorry, you want to stand up, hold up your card. Oh, <laughs> yellow, yellow, again, yellow. Okay. And you guys are going to meet in the back of the ballroom here. And we might, there might be some logistical issues here, so we're going to see how that'll work. So after the recessional, people with the yellow cards are going to meet with the liberal arts faculty in the back of the ballroom. If you have a blue card, you are a member of the Andres School of Education, and so you are going to find Dr. Gail Mormon Barnes, Dean of the Andres School of Education. Gail, you want to stand up? There we go. Great. If you have a red, pinkish, orangish card, somewhere in there, you are in the School of Business, and you are going to find B.J. Weitzel, Dean of the School of Business. B.J., stand up. Excellent. If you have a green card, you are in the School of Science and Mathematics, and you're going to find Dr. Scott Victor, Dean of the School of Science and Mathematics. Oh, I haven't been sending where these people are meeting. Uh oh. Uh, okay, uh, education, blue cards. You are in the middle of the ballroom by the windows over here. Again, we're going to try this, see if there's any logistical issues. Uh, that's education. Um, business, front of the ballroom. Okay, front of the ballroom. Science and math is in the game room out this way by the pool tables. Okay. If you want to have fun, come to the School of Science and Math. No, no rotten fruit. 
Some of you may have white cards. Anybody have white cards? That means that you are undecided. In which case, come talk to me. Okay? And we are going to meet in the lobby area out here. Okay? So again, after the recessional, this is what we're going to do. Any questions? Where does liberal arts meet? Back of the ball. Next, yellow. Everybody got it? All right, then we're ready.